This is why we love Oregon, guys. 10 minutes, we're in the city. Then 10 minutes later, we're out in the country. It's beautiful out here, guys. So we're gonna go back into the garage, try to get my Camaro done for epoxy primer. Aaron's Firebird really motivated me. So we're gonna go back to the garage, get all everything cleaned up, stand down whatever we can, and like I said, get it ready for epoxy primer, fillers, then some base coat, and get that thing on the road. See you guys then. All right, guys, we're over here right now. Alex gonna grab the grinder out. Doors are off. Trying to clean up some welds on the back of this bad boy. Safety first, right? Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> safety glasses. You know, when the guy's getting a little lazy, you're gonna have to come over here and grab himself a nice dolly seat. Gotta watch all this madness go on, huh? All right, let's see what we got going on over here. We did weld on a new quarter panel, the lower well, quarter panel at least. You can see the black part. Patch panel. That's a little patch panel down in here. A new tail panel on there. And uh, some of the body work is cleaning up some of the welds from tacking everything on, huh? Yep. All right, let's get at it, dude. Get some done. All right guys, this is the straight edge we have. Fortunately, it's really big. Wish we had a smaller one, but it's just the way she goes sometimes. But as you can see on the new panel, you can kind of see how, I mean, it's pretty much perfect all across it. That body line is perfect, just no space. And if you go on to the old panel, we already did a little bit of pounding on it. It got a little bit better. Fortunately, there's something right right back here. It's making it really hard for me to hit it properly. But as you can see, 
right here, there is a low spot. If I keep on, see that's why I wish I had a smaller one. I'm gonna move it this way. There we go. You can kind of see where their low spots are on the panel. And pretty much that body line, you can't even see that body line right there. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to fix that completely with just uh, hitting it with the hammer. Maybe probably use filler to make that body line perfect. And down here too, there's also some low spots. And right here, something happened up here. It must have been hit a while ago because I'm gonna put it up again. You can see right here, there's a dent right there. I may use a stud welder, who knows. Uh, so we're just gonna keep on uh, pounding it out. And hopefully I uh, get as straight as possible. Did you want to try to do some more hammering work, or do you think maybe we should get out the stub, uni stud well there, or do you I want mean, to wait till the stud welder until you bolt it up on there? I mean, yeah, I mean, probably has, it may need to be bolted because you need a, quite a bit of force. I think we're going to hammer it out, see how far we can get with the hammer, then maybe possibly get the stud welder out later, and pos we'll, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Like I said, it's our first time doing this, so um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's not too bad. She's looking a lot better. Like I said, when I first came out here and I started looking at it and Elliot and me were trying to get some stuff on it. And Elliot's been working really hard on getting this panel straightened out, but this thing was not beautiful before. I mean, it's really hard. At least like the pluses today is at least like we can compare it to like a brand new OEM GM make factory panel that has a perfect fender, you know, minus it's a difference left and right, but it still should have the same body line. So we're going to do our best to match the two together. And then uh, go from there. So let's get some shots of uh, us hammering this thing out so that way we can get this car running tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> More like a few months, but it's all good. It'll be right. It's a good deal, man. space but making it happen with what we got so it's all good Just come. okay guys uh, hit out the panel it's uh, a lot better than it was when I first began it's still I need some help though I think I'm going to just use a stud welder like I said that panel right behind it Let's see if I can show you guys that one right there it's just right in the way and I can't get my hammer in there that well and it's making it really hard so I'm going to probably just bolt on the panel use the stud welder and try to fix that as much as possible. Then I'll use filler to get it perfect. Uh, trying to get away with using as little filler as possible because uh, that's how Bondo got its bad name. Bondo and filler is the same thing, if you guys didn't know. Most of you guys probably do. But um, anyways guys, uh, if you liked the video, uh, check out the next video because we will be painting the uh, Camaro. Got all the Eastwood products. We are, we are Eastwood out of our minds over here. Um, I just went with the same company and just make it a lot easier for me. Alright, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. It's getting late tonight, so uh, I think on the next video we will be uh, painting the Camaro, at least epoxy primer. We're going to get the car ready, which means we're going to clean the garage, clean the Camaro, with uh, pre-painting prep and stuff like that. Re-sand uh, outside of it so epoxy primer can uh, have a better mechanical bond to it. Aaron's about to pull in the Firebird. We've been getting a couple of police complaints lately, right Aaron? It's been a little greasy out here lately. Yeah, so... I don't uh, think our neighbors like us because we're a couple American badasses. <laughs> right. They don't like uh, the loud noises we make, especially if that compressor is very loud. So uh, let's see Aaron uh, turn this bad boy on. Uh. The guy's got to come out here and kind of lift up some stuff here, mess around with some, some finanis, but it's been a little crazy out here. I don't know how to wake up the dirty bird, get the bird awake real quick here, and we'll try to do this as quiet as possible, because apparently it's an HOA neighborhood, even though I bought a house outside of an HOA neighborhood. Let's see if we can wake people up. Which one's the gas pedal?
Uh, it's not too loud, but I don't know. Our neighbors don't like us, I guess. guys i think we're going to end the video here i'm pretty sure on the next video we will be getting that epoxy primer down on the camaro we will see you never know of these car things but anyways guys thank you for watching the video hopefully you got see you guys on the next one later